Hello everyone, and welcome to my Days of Our Lives 24 channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Royal Celebration Road affirms Lauren's executioner finally, an extremely vicious passing scene crowning Celebration Road has at long last addressed the secret of who killed Lauren Bolton, Kate Fitton, months with specialist Joel Deering, Callum Lill, being exposed as the guilty party. We saw Lauren vanish without many follows back in February, prompting a giant unnatural birth cycle of equity that saw sympathetic bistro ruler Roy Cropper, David Nielsen, in the edge. Until this week, Roy has been grieving in jail, confronting serious risk from an edge employing prisoner after Lauren's father Griff had him designated. It's somewhat of a crime we should not get into the feeble proof that DS Lisa Lover, Vicky Myers, and Pack have used to detain him. Notwithstanding, when Nathan Curtis, Chris Harper, entered the fight in the wake of being let out of jail and sneaking around the road, it seemed like the almost certain guilty party in Lauren's vanishing had been found. A custodian, sex victimizer and attacker, he possesses all the necessary qualities of somebody with a realized history of hurting little kids. At the point when Bethany Platt, Lucy Fallon, became persuaded, naturally, of his contribution, Sarah, Tina O'Brien, supported her girl and made the dangerous move of establishing Lauren's hair toward the rear of his van. This prompted his brief capture, with Joel arranged as a specialist to shield him. Joel incidentally turns out to be perfectly located with flawless timing, and he is staying there addressing a man who is by and large wrongly blamed for what he did, entertainer Callum Lill, who plays him, shared. He is however stunned as Nathan when the hair in Nathan's vehicle may be ended up being Lauren's. He couldn't care less about Nathan. This could be what gets Roy out of jail and stops Steve being so fretted over Roy, in light of the fact that he genuinely regrets that as he reveres her, that is the one thing that he battles with and presently it seems as though the issue is tackled. So what really happened then? As Trust gave Joel the jewelry that was found, we saw through a flashback that Lauren was attempting to escape him in the flat, they had been having a sexual relationship, something which could obliterate Joel's life and that is before his vile activities that followed. Snatching a shouting Lauren, he tossed her to the ground and more than once beat her with an obtuse contrivance in horrendous scenes. We don't yet have the foggiest idea what occurs straight away, yet ongoing pictures have shown Callum shooting scenes close to a neglected bar, recommending this is where he could be keeping proof or even Lauren's body itself. He looks pretty anxious and that could be on the grounds that Bethany and Dee are close by will they before long be on to him? With Nathan accused of the wrongdoing, Joel might figure he can now continue on yet Cleanser doesn't exactly resolve that way. The more he conceals the more opportunity there is of him committing an error, Callum considered. He's been great such a long ways in that he's been taking part in this way of behaving as long as we have seen him, and Lauren was gone after in February. Nobody's gotten him out up to this point yet they don't really realize they have gotten him out. Yet, I think the more it happens for, the more opportunity he has of fouling up and I think he knows that. You can see that in him getting increasingly more restless that the smallest thing could bring his reality disintegrating down around him even the way that he laid down with Lauren. That is a break of trust alone and will be sufficient to cut off his profession and friendship in addition to kill what's more, his life would be over so the stakes couldn't be higher, crowning celebration road spoilers for the following week, June 3rd to 7th, 2024 Toya is captured. Enormous privileged insights uncovered crowning ordnance road spoilers from June 3rd to 7th, 2024, highlight the hotly anticipated flight of Simon Barlow. In the midst of this, Leanne Battersby winds up drawn further into Rowan Cunliffe's impact. In any case, the feature is Toya Battersby dealing with her past directly when the police comes thumping. In the meantime, love is all around as Joel Deering proposes to Dee Bailey. Peruse on for more! Crowning Celebration Road Spoilers, Leanne's mystery sentiment uncovered as Simon weighs out Crowning Ordnance Road Spoilers say that Leanne at last gets back from the retreat. She is really distraught when Simon advises her he's passing on to work with his father, Peter Barlow. Scratch attempts to quiet Leanne down, saying he left a message with Rowan, yet clearly, she doesn't get it. Leanne even blames Scratch and Toya for plotting despite her good faith. As the week proceeds, Leanne is devastated as she expresses farewell to Simon. Afterward, she opens up about her deepest feelings to somebody on her PC. She lets them know Simon is gone, and she truly wants to accompany them. As indicated by Crowning Celebration Road, Toya sets up a post hammering the establishment. Notwithstanding, before long, she learns the establishment is suing her and getting in order. 
Back at home, Scratch attempts to cause Leanne to comprehend that Toya just needs to keep her protected from a terrible gathering. In the following scene, when Scratch leaves, she opens her PC and admits her affection to somebody. As Toya watches the whole scene, she thinks it's Rowan, however Leanne absolutely denies it. Nonetheless, Royal Celebration Road spoilers uncover that when Scratch returns, he finds his accomplice sitting on the lounge chair, clasping hands with Rowan. Is Leanne going to discard Scratch for Rowan? Toya captured for homicide, Nathan uncovered in the impending week, Toya begs Leanne to comprehend what Rowan and the Foundation really are. In any case, they are before long hindered by the unexpected appearance of the police. Furthermore, prepare to have your mind blown. Pat Green captures Toya for homicide as they found a child's body covered in the recreation area, per crowning ritual road spoilers. Indeed, we definitely realize that Toya covered her child young lady, Rose, after she was stillborn. As of late, Toya fearlessly imparted to Scratch and Leanne how she didn't actually realize she was pregnant after Phil Simmons assaulted her. Presently, she is compelled to confront her injury once more. In the interim, Bethany fills Craig in regarding Ellie and how Nathan used to hurt her, as well. Crowning Liturgy Road spoilers propose that she even gives Craig Ellie's location. Be that as it may, when the cop arrives at the spot, Ellie's flatmate says Ellie has proactively left after somebody compromised her. One week from now will likewise uncover Lauren's genuine guilty party. With Ellie's non-attendance, all fingers point towards Nathan. Is it safe to say that he is truly behind everything? Allow us to see when and how he will get uncovered. Crowning Ceremony Road Spoilers, will D acknowledge Joel's engagement proposition? Further in the following week, Joel holds a table at the bistro so he can make D meet his folks. As per Royal Celebration Road Spoilers, D admits that she is anxious about gathering them, yet Joel consoles her. In any case, he cautions that his folks could appear to be a peace hostel, yet they'll cherish her. During the gathering, it becomes obvious that Joel's folks, Anthea and Gus, obviously oppose D. At the point when D acquaints them with her father, Ed Bailey, Anthea offers a discourteous remark. This prompts D to stomp out. Burning through no time, Joel goes to her level to express upset for his mother's way of behaving. Crowning ritual road spoilers, significant piece of information prods Roy's passing, association with spouse's demise. Fans are in a craze subsequent to recognizing a chilling sign indicating the conceivable passing of darling person Roy Cropper. The bistro proprietor, played by David Nielsen, is right now carrying out a jail punishment for the supposed homicide of Lauren Bolton. Crowning ceremony road spoilers have affirmed that Roy's late spouse will return in his mind flights and bad dreams. As of late, fans took to web-based entertainment to communicate their fear. Peruse on for the subtleties. Crowning ritual road spoilers, will Roy emulate spouse's example? Fans worry about the chance of Roy Cropper's demise in the wake of seeing an unusual clue associated with his late spouse, Haley Cropper. We realize that Roy is battling in jail right now since he was blamed for killing Lauren Bolton. Crowning Liturgy Road spoilers say that his legal counselor, D. Bailey, is endeavoring to effectively defend himself. In the meantime, Roy has begun driving away everybody he adores, including Carla, Bobby, Nina, and Evelyn. In the midst of these difficult stretches, the cleanser has affirmed Haley Cropper, Roy's late spouse, is returning. You should recollect that she tragically died in the city in 2014 subsequent to fighting pancreatic malignant growth. Crowning ceremony road spoilers say that she'll be back in Roy's life, not in the tissue, but rather through his mental trips and bad dreams while he's in jail. The cleanser's representative expressed, dramas are known for highlighting fantastical components and characters getting back from the dead or it is entirely expected to show up in dreams. Likewise, the trailer for the following week's episodes recently dropped. The forthcoming week will uncover Lauren's executioner, per crowning ordinance road spoilers. Notwithstanding, a few fans brought up an odd clue. They perceive the ambient sound, Ralph Vaughn Williams' The Warbler Rising, from someplace the very music that played when Haley passed on. Watchers recollected that it was on a CD for Haley when she drank her medication to end her aggravation. One fan posted, the music in this trailer is the piece Haley passed on to, if Roy kicks the bucket, no doubt about it. While one more added, stand by this is a similar tune Roy played for Haley when she kicked the bucket, please know. 
Does this truly mean certain doom for the bistro proprietor? In the most recent episodes, we saw reprobate Griff Reynolds holding a blade against Dearest Roy. Will he wind up killing him? To find and for more crowning Ordnance Road spoilers, continue to get back to television season and spoilers.